Hey guys, in my last video, I kind of showed a lot of the stuff that we take in our camping box or camping tote, but did not go over like any of the equipment like tents or canopies. And I bought these two chairs here to take on our last camping trip. Uh, they're from a company called King Camp and they're like the director style chair. But as you can see, they are fairly big. I mean, they're as tall as that coffee table and more than half as wide so they take up a ton of space in the back of the jeep plus they're fairly heavy they weigh almost 12 pounds each so when you're carrying them you're at almost 25 pounds and our last campsite had a huge drainage ditch running through the middle of it basically and we would have to walk probably close to 80 to 90 feet down beyond it basically make a U-turn and come back up it to get to the actual tents and stuff. So, I mean, you're carrying these almost 200 feet. So because of them taking up so much space and being so heavy, I knew I wanted something different for our next camping trip. We already have a few of these bag chairs. I'm sure all of you have seen them or bought them. This is a Coleman one. We have three of these. I paid 50 or $60 per chair for these. We have had them for a couple years. Um, but the seats like sag really bad, even from like brand new, uh, it's just like you sink down into them really bad. Um, plus as you can see, they are very big as well. And I have a couple of these, I think I did a video on this maybe three or four years ago. Um, basically it's a little bag chair. I'll pull everything out here and show it to you. So these chairs are fairly small, fairly lightweight. They're like two and a half or three pounds or so. But some of the issues with these is that it comes with like those tent poles and you kind of have to like figure everything out on how it's going to go and put everything together and it's got all like these bungee straps and, and then once you have all the legs assembled, you have to try to take like the seat material and basically stretch it over these posts without them moving. And it's just the whole thing is kind of wonky. And when I'm done with it, I always have a hard time getting all the pieces back together right. And then this has to be folded correctly in order to try to fit everything back into that little bag. It's very time consuming. And so I have a product here that I'm hoping can help me fix the problem of the size and weight of these chairs and then Kind of like the awkwardness and flimsiness of these types of chairs that have all the little tent poles in it. And what we have here is the click chair. So as you can see, this click chair is probably a third of the size of a regular like bag chair and it should set up just as fast. So let's get this out of the box and we'll uh, go over some of the specs and features and then kind of go outside and compare all of these out there actually set up so we can see what they look like so we have a manual here I think that this is probably gonna be pretty self-explanatory but so just in English and we got the chair itself here they have these available in a bunch of different colors um, I chose to go with the graphite and I think that'll be like the seat color in here. So very first thoughts pulling out of the box is this thing is, I'm not gonna say it's heavy uh, cause it's way lighter than most of the other chairs that I have, but there's still some substantial heft to it. And it's not balanced real well because most of the weight is over here in this hub, but look how beefy these, it's like square tubing. You know, most uh, chairs have like round tubing and this is solid. I think they said it weighs like three and a half pounds. Let's see what we get here. I got three pounds, 11 ounces. So that's more than three and a half. I was looking through the specs page on it and it does say, you know, it's three and a half pounds. But if you continue to scroll down here it will say right there that it's 3.65 pounds, which is probably closer to what I got. 
folded up like this. It's about 14 and a half inches long and just over three inches wide. And when we open it up here in a bit, it's 22 inches wide and 26 inches high. And even though the chair has a weight itself of under four pounds, uh, it has a weight capacity of around 300 pounds. So before we open it up for the first time, I just kind of want to show you like the attention to detail and like the quality control of this stuff. Like everything looks pretty well perfect. I mean, obviously it's brand new, it should, but you never know what you're going to get from companies, but all of the stuff in here just looks fantastic. I don't see any blemishes. All the spacing between every one of these looks exactly the same. Just looks like quality parts that are being used. All right, well, we'll try to open it up in here, but I'll show it in better detail once we go outside. Basically undo the strap, just basically let the legs unfold upon themselves, extend out the other legs, make sure they lock in place. So it should be pretty simple. So, this basically just falls down. Everything just kind of goes like this. They kind of lock into place. So that's locked now. And then we'll have these here that we'll have to pull and get them up in place. All right, that maybe took five seconds at the very most. Um, the back ones do have basically two locking buttons and that's how you're gonna get the angle like that. These ones are, you see there's a button here and then a button there, so there's two of them, but the front only has one. All right, I'm not 100% sure what the material is that, that this is made out of. Um, this is some type of netting here, but it's really thick. And then the overall design, it's definitely like uh, contoured like it's higher on the sides almost for like bolstering to kind of keep you in place it's got their little logo up there in the top and that's also kind of like a mesh so set up here you can kind of see how all this works so basically this little leg here goes down into this leg this leg kind of folds down into that channel there and then it all kind of collapses back upon itself via this hub here. Uh, the feet on it are super wide. I'm not sure if this is a, a plastic or some type of rubber that's on the feet, but they're big feet, so you should not sink down into sand um, or like soft soil, wet ground or whatever. They're really wide. Um, instead of, you know, a lot of them have just those little poles almost that come down toward the ground. So one thing I don't like is basically just how the strap more or less just hangs there. I almost wish like there was a piece of Velcro or something here that you could attach that to. Um, so what I'll do is basically just kind of roll this up on itself and bring it back here like that, but it still looks a little bit awkward. On both sides of the chair are like these mesh pockets and there's actually quite a bit of room in here and you could easily fit cell phones and bottled water and, and stuff like that in here. Tons of room and they're on both sides. I'm gonna go outside here in a minute and compare this with other chairs. I figured we'd try to put this back down in here first. So we're gonna slide those in. And then the back ones, there's two on each leg back here. So we'll get those slid in. And it does say in their manual that the buttons might be a little bit stiff at first, but after you do it, you know, five or 10 times, they loosen up significantly. And then after we have the legs pushed down, we're gonna push this button here, which then just folds the whole thing into itself. So just like that, and then we got that Velcro strap. And we'll just put that around it. There we go. So some of their advertising says that this is the size of a water bottle. And here's a 16.9 ounce bottle. And as you can see, it's probably like four times the size of that. So 
Definitely not a regular water bottle. If you read that, it's somewhat misleading. And then here is what is the size of 33.8, so more than twice the size of the other one. And then you know, this is this is a pretty large bottle of water, and that's still you know half the size of if you, it's about the same length almost, but a lot more up this way. So, all right, I want to show you the size of the click chair kind of compared to other chairs outside here. So you got a just a traditional lawn chair and then a pretty normal bag chair. And you can see how much smaller that click chair is. We'll also show it a setup next to these in a bit too. And here's that click chair next to like another type of portable chair. That's the one that has like all like the tent legs on it. And then like the director's chairs that I just took camping with me last time. And again, you can see just how much smaller the footprint is. All right, this is a click chair set up kind of next to the traditional chair. Uh, the traditional lawn chair did set up a little bit faster. It was probably like two or three seconds. And this was more like five or six seconds, something like that. And then this is it set up next to that normal bag chair. Clearly it sits lower. Uh, the seat height is a little bit lower uh i believe here in the front it's right at about 13 13 and a half inches but the kind of the butt area sinks down a little bit lower so it's more like 10 inches but that'll give you some idea of what that looks like and then we'll set up the other ones over here these ones do take a little bit longer to set up all right there's the click chair set up next to the other like collapsible type chair and then also that director's chair. And again, you can see it does sit significantly lower. Uh, another thing to note is that there are no armrests. So that has armrests, that one does not. That has armrests obviously, and so does that. Uh, so no armrests and no cup holder. So like this one here does have a cup holder built into the side. And then this just has those mesh pockets uh, that you could put a bottle down in, but not a cup. So here they are all lined up just to kind of give you an idea of what that click chair looks like in comparison to other chairs. And even though that backrest on the click obviously does not go up as high as those other chairs, uh, once you're sitting in it, it's plenty supportive. And uh, I'll show you some video of that here in a bit. I don't know how well this will show up on camera, but I did want to show you guys just how much beefier the frame and the legs and stuff are of this click chair. I mean, it, it's at least three times, if not four times, the size of like these traditional chairs like this that you kind of put together. All right, guys, just for reference, I'm about 6'2 and around 250 pounds. Uh, and this is just kind of relaxing in the chair. I would say that your hips and your butt are lower than what your knees are. So if you do have hip or knee problems, it might be kind of difficult for you to sit in this chair um, or get back out of it because there are no armrests or anything like that. But it just kind of shows you what this looks like. But yeah, I definitely say this is a... Uh, a relaxing position uh, I can imagine like sitting around a campfire um, or even out on a beach kind of feet in the water or toes in the sand and obviously if you don't want to lean all the way back you can sit up like if you're watching a soccer game or baseball game or something like that and you want to kind of see the action you can definitely come forward like this you don't have to be completely reclined back like this One thing I didn't talk a whole lot about is that mesh that's on the back and it's on the butt area. Uh, that's really good to let ventilation so that your back doesn't sweat or your butt doesn't sweat so bad. A lot of these camp type chairs or tailgating chairs, uh, when you're sitting against them in the heat, your back will just like get wet from them. And this really helps air circulate through there so you don't get any of that. All right, we might have a little more room out here to try to open this than what we did inside so basically we'll go until that snaps and we pull these 
up until they snap. It's easy to see where the back is because the logo's there. And there'll be two holes. So just pull each of those until they snap. And then the front ones only have the one. And the chair is set up. And if you're not trying to like reach around the tripod and the camera like I am, it can be done in probably five seconds or so. So I mentioned how I didn't care for how that Velcro strap just kind of dangled whenever you open the chair. And if I can make one other improvement to this chair, it would be to actually add some type of carrying handle to it. And this is kind of like the main hub. This is where most of the weight is right in this area right here. Um, but there's kind of like these little tabs here, which I'm sure have something to do with the structural integrity of it. But I think that they could probably maybe like have some holes on opposite corners and then put like some type of like nylon webbing strap, uh, like with maybe like a rivet or something like that through it. And then you would have something like this to, to carry. And then when you opened it, it still would not interfere with the legs at all going diagonally like that. Um, they do sell a bag, uh, Click does, but it's not for just a single chair. Uh, the smallest bag they have is for two chairs. Now, obviously you could put a single chair in it, but it's not really what it's designed for. And then they have one that's for like four and then for six. Uh, but I think having a carry handle on these would make a big difference on them. Like I mentioned outside, if you do have any trouble getting out of like normal chairs, this probably is not for you. Uh, you do kind of sit fairly low with your knees higher than your hips. And it does take a little bit of core strength. Like if you're lean back, to be able to then like sit back up and then for sure to get up, it takes a little bit of lower extremity strain. So um, if you do have mobility issues, might not be the right chair for you. So let's talk about pricing real fast. Um, these are not cheap. This comes in at close to $110. Um, I will say though that like those King Camp director chairs, I paid like 80 or $85 per chair on those and like those Coleman bag chairs, they were like 50 or $60. Um, right now on Click's website, they do have like a 20% off sale going on. So I think it brings them down to like $88, uh, which is a pretty good deal. And the more you buy of these, the more discount they give you from the website. So if you buy two chairs, price per chair is cheaper than one. If you buy four chairs, Price per chair is cheaper than even two. So the more you buy, the cheaper they get. And also, I believe if you purchase two or more, they include the carrying bag with it. And I think those sell for like 20 bucks or something close to it. And I know, you know, $100 plus dollars is a lot for a chair. When you could get like those bag chairs at Walmart, like the Ozark Trail ones or whatever that are like $10. So you could, you could get 10 of them but you know that those chairs are basically only gonna last a season, if that. So you know they're basically disposable. Now, I just received this you know, a week ago, so I can't really speak on the longevity of it or the durability, um, but it feels like it's made out of quality parts and components. I think these are definitely good for people who are limited on space, especially like if you live in a van or vehicle or you do a lot of RV traveling, and you just space is at a premium. Uh, I think these are really great for that. You can honestly fit three or four of these in the typical space that one of those bag chairs would normally take. So they're great for camping. They're great for tailgating, you know, watching any type of sporting events, parades, like I mentioned earlier. And the way that the backrest comes up, it kind of hit me in about my shoulder blade area, maybe just below my shoulder blades. Um, they do have a taller back chair now. It's like a lounge type chair. I think it's a few dollars more than this one. Um, but if you prefer a higher back, they do have one available. All right. So if you were looking for one of these chairs, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, I will leave a link to click down in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. And that's going to be it on this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.